welcome to my car. It is like 100 degrees in here right now. I wore a tank top today and put on extra deodorant because I already knew I was gonna sweat. My car is very hot. I can't turn the AC on because it'll make a lot of noise and drive throughs give me anxiety. So we are in my lovely 1999 Toyota RAV4 named Fern today because we are going on an adventure. We are going on a food journey, if you will. And let me tell you, I am not ready for this. I drink tons of water because I already know I'm about to eat like 20 times the recommended amount of sodium. I want to take you all along with me on a fast food journey. We are going to try all the fun vegan options at fast food places. It is 2021, it is January, it is veganuary, and what better way to celebrate that than to eat copious amounts of processed, but plant-based food. I hate this parking lot. I always feel like I'm gonna run someone over here one day, but let's, Let's not put that into the universe, actually. Going to drive throughs gives me so much anxiety. Also, I'm always like, oh, I'm gonna try something different when I go to Starbucks. Like, I'm gonna try a new drink. But I always just end up ordering the same thing. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can we get started for you? Hi, can I get a tall iced vanilla latte with coconut milk, please? Tall iced vanilla latte with coconut milk, okay. And that's it. Awesome, we'll see you up here. Thank you. The lady started talking to me as I was leaving and I, well, I don't know if she was talking to me or the person behind me, so I just drove away. I got scared. I didn't know who she was talking to. Is that an eater? It's um, a kawadi, kind of close. <laughs> they're kind of like, even know what that they're like raccoons, kind of. Oh, for sure. <laughs> that's, that's really cool. Not the lady at the Starbucks drive through asking me if my tattoo is an anteater. I mean, okay, it kind of looks like one. It's a kawadi. No one knows what that is, so. What do I expect? Okay, we're gonna try the most unique drink in the world, an iced vanilla latte with coconut milk. Never had this before. Um, I'm so glad I ordered this size because I already had coffee this morning and I just, I really don't need any more. This is like way more milk than coffee though, if we're being honest, but it sure does taste good. Also, it's a little bit less sweet than they usually make it because sometimes Starbucks just like goes ham on the freaking sugar syrup or whatever it is. This one's like perfect. Could do with a little more coffee, less coconut milk, but with the way the caffeine's hitting today, I don't know if that's actually necessary. This is gonna make me have to pee. Actually, I have to run into Target really quick, which I happen to be in the Target drive or the Target drive through. That would be amazing. Why doesn't that exist? Um, the Target parking lot because yesterday I accidentally bought some shampoo instead of conditioner. I don't use shampoo. I haven't used shampoo in over a year. Fun fact. So I gotta go return this, get myself some conditioner instead. I've never tried this brand. If you came here for a fast food video, I'm sorry, it's now a hair care routine. So you've come to the wrong page. We're just multitasking today, okay? Which honestly, I'm really bad at multitasking. One of the reasons why I hate 69ing. Next stop is Del Taco. They have Beyond Meat there. So I think they have tacos and a burrito. I'm just gonna go for it, honestly, at this point. Sir, I will kill you. Hi, um, can I get the Beyond Avocado Taco? and the Epic Beyond Original Burrito. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Ah! Oh my God. Y'all, people are just driving here like they freaking own this parking lot. Excuse me, sir. I didn't give you permission to just go. The audacity, honestly. Okay, I swear to God, if someone comes and parks next to me, I will key their car. I'm just kidding. I need to stop threatening people today. Let's use some hand sanitizer. Okay, I'm so, I'm so excited. He just asked, do I want any hot sauce? I said, yeah, but I didn't specify that I wanted also mild and he only gave me hot. So it's about to be Spicy up in here. Alrighty, let's I need to crack a window. Holy hell. What's going on? Ah! Would this help? Is that better? Okay. I have a sunroof, you guys. This is a fancy car. It's not at all. Let's see. 
So it has Beyond Meat, lettuce, and one piece of avocado, and some sort of tomato mixture. I don't know. Let's. I have had this before, but like not in a really long time. Like I think I got it right when they came out with them, but I haven't had it in a while. Let's give it a taste. That's pretty good. You can't call something an avocado taco and put one piece of avocado on it. It's really falling apart. I can't eat it all. I keep forgetting I have so much food to eat today. Oh, it's a pretty big burrito. That is what it looks like inside. It has guacamole, tomato, Beyond Meat somewhere. I guess it's mixed in with the rice. The tortilla is really good. I'm like really vibing with the tortilla. It's like very soft. This is good. I feel like it could have more flavor, but it is very like, it's very full. It has a lot of stuff in it. It's a big burrito. Like if I eat this entire thing right now, I'm not gonna be able to eat anything else. So it's actually kind of hard not to. I think it is really good. <laughs> okay, next stop is Carl's Jr. I'm so excited for this because they have the Beyond Burger. Can I get um, the Beyond Famous Star with no cheese and no may mayonnaise? Do you want the combo? Uh, no, thank you. Anything else? Um, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, anyways, that is what it looks like. Literally looks like meat. Oh, they put ketchup in it. Perfect. Pickles just make everything taste so much better. Honestly, if that was like a real patty, I would have no idea. For a fast food burger, it's definitely good. I feel like Carl's Jr. is like one step above the rest of the fast food restaurants. Um, they're definitely more pricey. It needs sauce. I should have asked for barbecue sauce, but that's my fault. Um, it's because it is like a little bit dry, but super tasty. I need to remember, I can't eat all this. Okay, next stop is gonna be Taco Bell. Taco Bell doesn't have like any specific vegan things. They don't have like fake meat or anything, but Taco Bell is like the OG vegetarian fast food place to go because their menu items are really easy to make vegan. They already have like a bunch of vegetarian options. Does my car always make these weird noises or like is it just a coincidence that I'm not playing music and now they're happening? Um, usually when that happens, what I like to do is just turn my music on really high up so I don't hear the horrible noises my car's making. So that's my advice to you. Um, if my dad knew that I was telling you that, he would be rolling in his grave. Wait, my dad's not dead. <laughs> Sir, I'm gonna need you to get over in your lane. <sighs> what is like the nerve of some people? Hi, um, can I get the black bean chalupa taco? So you want a black bean chalupa? Yeah, and can I do that um, fresco style with no cheese and no sour cream? And then can I get the bean burrito also fresco style? Thank you. Thanks. Okay, we got our Taco Bell. Wow, they really packed this thing in. This is the chalupa taco, black bean chalupa taco. Okay, that is not black bean. That is definitely meat. Well, you know what? I've had it before, so it's okay. I know what it tastes like and it tastes great. It basically looks like this, but with black beans. I'm not even that mad because I low-key am really full. <laughs> okay, that's the bean burrito. I actually love the bean burrito just because it's like, it's so tiny and it's kind of like a little snack. Mm. Look how small it is. Um, can I get the Impossible Whopper with no mayo? Yeah, no, thank you. It was so stressful. I don't know where I am right now. I hated that whole situation. I just saw Jesus. I literally just saw Jesus. There was a man in his van in a white robe and long hair, and he was wearing, like, leather sandals. It was literally Jesus. He was also soaking wet. I don't know why he was wet. Where did he go swimming? Where, where did he come from? Why was he covered in water? Okay, I need to eat this because I'm having a nervous breakdown. Also, everyone in this parking lot is in their car. Why are people parked here? 
I mean, I'm one of those people, but like, I'm trying to get some peace and quiet and every single car has a person in it. So I feel like everyone's looking at me. Okay, anyways, this is a Impossible Whopper with no mayonnaise. It looks really sad. Again, I didn't ask for barbecue sauce. I just felt very flustered. Okay, I'm just gonna eat this before I lose my mind. Where is he going? I always get really scared that this is real meat. I don't think it is. Okay. Again, very dry. I should have asked for barbecue sauce or ketchup or something. It honestly basically just tastes like the Carl's Jr. one, but a little bit worse. Update. Jesus just walked into Walmart. I think he's up to something. I don't know what he's getting. Okay. We got the El Pollo. A vegan chickenless burrito. This is the one I'm most excited about because this is the one that I've never tried before. I've never had the Del Taco burrito, but I've had the Del Taco Beyond Meat before. So this is not Beyond or Impossible. I guess El Pollo Loco has like their own plant-based chicken. And I've never eaten an El Pollo Loco before. So it's really a first time for everything. This is a big burrito for like a fast food restaurant. It's pretty big. Okay, so that is what the inside looks like. Definitely a lot more lettuce than anything else. But the chicken itself tastes pretty good. It's like pretty saucy. So that's a piece of the chicken. Pretty rubbery. Like the sauce, it's the sauce and seasoning is good, but it's not bad. It's just like Okay guys, so that is it for the video. I am so full and I don't feel that great because of everything that I ate today. Probably gonna go take a walk or something. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun like trying everything and just driving around with you guys, hanging out. I felt like we were all in the car together. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you discovered some new fast food vegan options that you didn't know of before. Um, I'm gonna drink like a gallon of water now because I just ate, I don't even wanna know how much sodium. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you want to like this video if you liked it. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.